remarkable. He controls no land, but the people love him. Oh, when are they going to stop running? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Liu Bei's charisma, the Sun family's land, support of the people, and advantage of terrain. This sandstorm that is impeding our path may be our greatest obstacle to total conquest. Having defeated his nemesis Yuan Shao at Guangdu, Cao Cao takes control over the northern territories that once belonged to his longtime rival. As the ruler of the Central Plains, Cao Cao had become one of, if not the most powerful leader in the land. There was one man whom Cao Cao considered to be a hero, and therefore a great threat. That man's name is Liu Bei. However, Liu Bei currently controls no land, and is serving as a guest general under Liu Biao of the Jing province. Cao Cao advances his army towards Jing. Facing certain defeat, Liu Bei decides to flee. If Liu Bei is to reach the Kingdom of Wu and an alliance is formed, it would mean trouble, even for an army as formidable as Cao Cao's. Liu Bei must be stopped. Alright, so here is the next act, the war against the Liu Bei, and the three stages for it, the Battle of Bowen Po, the Battle of Chung Ban, and the Battle of Chirpi. Sound familiar? Yeah, same thing as Act 3 for Shu, the flight of Liu Bei, but the only difference is, obviously, different sides. So now, we're playing it under South South's forces, since obviously we're playing Waze Musa mode, so yeah. Anyway. We'll start off with the battle of Bo Wan Po, obviously, so we'll take it from there. And we're going to change characters. And in the last part, we unlock three new characters. We unlock Zheng He, Zhen Ji, and Xiao Ren. And I'll be playing as all three of them for this act. So, who am I going to play as for this one? Um, you know, just the fact that... You know what, I'm going to play as Zheng He. Just because if... Okay, I'm in a good spot. Just in case of what's going to happen within the next first, well, the first, what, five minutes once I actually start the stage. So, anyway, the equipment, the weapon, we have an iron claw as level, well, as the weapon at level one. Lack. Anyway, uh, shadow harness, obviously, you know, the same stuff. There we go. Bodyguards are now five, so there we go. And you know, I'm gonna actually change. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna change the uh, weapon to spear. There we go. Objectives: If we defeat Liu Bei, we win. If Sao Sao is defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we lose. It's a game over. Plain and simple. Unit info: You have Sao Sao with Shu Shu and Zheng He, which is me. You have Zhao Yuan, Zhen Ji. Yu Jin, Li Dian, and Han Hao for Sao Sao's forces, and then you have for Liu Bei's forces with Liu Bei, Zhuge Liang, Zhao Yun, and Jian Yang. Okay, he has no morale, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. And uh, we're gonna go right out of the gate. If it's what I think it's gonna be, then we're gonna have to defeat Zhao Yun right out of the gate. Zhuge Liang is an unparalleled military genius. He will definitely have some kind of scheme. We must be cautious. I mean, I played a stage a while back when I was trying to record it the first time, but it's been a while. So let me see what happens with Zhao Yun. Yeah, he's going to fall back. So what we got to do is actually keep up with him and make sure he doesn't get to that fire attack spot. So you really want to push him back as far as you can. And uh, if you let it happen, it's not that big of a deal. But if you don't let it happen, then it will make things a little bit easier for yourself. But Zhao Yuan is going to cause problems for me. Okay. Shit! 
Well, the fire attack's gonna happen. That really fucked everything up for me. Well, at least he can get into the other one. Carelessness brought about this result. We cannot underestimate Higelion. Enemy officer defeated. For the sake of my lord, I cannot fall here. Yeah, when I played this stage a while back and what I remembered that there was two ambushes that you could run into here. Well, we allowed the fire attack to happen. But uh we didn't occur the second ambush. Zhao Yun continued to go up and have Guan Ping appear. So we defeated Liu Fong and Zhao Yun and we're gonna go and defeat Jian Yang next. There we go. I am sure Zhuge Liang still has a few schemes. Defeat enemy units one at a time, so we may foil his plan. Yeah, if you defeat Zhao Yun before that fire attack happened, you'll be able to discover every single ambush scheme. So that would make things ten times easier, but for the fact that we actually allowed one of them to happen, but the other one didn't happen, we're uh as you see Quan Ping where he appeared then that made things a little bit easier uh, if we actually allowed that to happen uh, if we allowed Zhao Yun to stay alive even longer than what we want it to be then all three of them would have appeared uh, well not all three but the two ambushes uh, Liu Fong and Guan Ping would appear and sure we would lose morale to it well they would gain morale to a degree but the fact of the matter is we wouldn't be that concerned because most of them are at no morale anyway. But uh, the fact of the matter is, it would just be you know one of those things where if you want to actually try to pull it off or not, you can't actually stop it. I've done it myself, and it was really fucking difficult where I'm at right now. But I'll tell you right now, if for some reason you play as a character and you're starting inside the castle, then you're not gonna have a chance in hell stopping that first one. Second one, maybe. Anyway, we're gonna go and defeat Guan Ping and then take it from there. And I know Guan Yu will appear a little bit later on, but uh, we'll just uh, take it one step at a time. And then after that, if things go the way I think it's going to go, I don't recall when Zhang Fei appears and then there will be a fire attack, but I know that happened when we played it under the Shu Forces, but here, I'm not entirely sure if that happens. If it does happen, then we could be in a little bit of trouble. Um, I do know, I'll let you know right now, Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang will both appear inside the castle where where Sao Cell is in the north east corner. So a little heads up for you right there. And that was bullshit. Alright, he has to quit shooting it up. Alright, now Guan Yu. Yeah, if you actually allowed, uh. Hang on one second. I knew I was gonna fuck that up. But, uh, if you allowed all the uh, ambushes to appear, um. That was bullshit. But anyway, if you allowed all the ambushes to occur, 
and if you haven't discovered any of them, then Shuju will be actually be surprised that Guan Yu appears in ambush unit. But uh, let's make sure I don't die here. I know there's an elite guard somewhere amongst these guys here, so I'll, I'll take that elite guard out and grab some health in the process. Is that him right there? Oh, I heard something. Shit. And there's a healing ointment right there. There we go. And right out of the fucking gate, once I actually got the healing ointment, he hits me with the Musu attack. Ah, oh, shit. Really? Shit, wrong way. I did not mean to do that. Alright, he's down. Okay. Actually. Let's grab the red hair. Because I, I know I mentioned this when I played Act 4. Anyway, I was saying, uh, yeah, we gotta be careful. I, that's the particular ambush I'm really concerned about. But anyway, if, um, from what I recall, I remember showing it off or explaining it in Act 4, but, uh, for the fact that I'm equipped with the Shadow Harness, it doesn't matter which horse I'm riding, it will still have that effect. So I can have the red hair and still have the equivalent of a Shadow Harness, so they can't knock me down, and I still have the Shadow Harness, harness equipped. So it's a double win for me. Shit, there it is. And he just set the thing on fire. Well, so much for my prediction on that one. We'll defeat Zhang Fei, and then take it from there. Alright, he has to quit shooting it up. Yeah, but I'm not really concerned when it comes to the morale and everything since we're right at the end. All we have to do is defeat Zhang Fei, defeat Zhuge Liang, and then defeat Liu Bei in that order. And these clashes have to fucking stop. Okay, so next is Yugo Liang, if we could find him anyway. And then we'll defeat Liu Bei. Alright, is it me or the, the shielding is just fucking bad? I didn't have this much trouble when I played the this stage a while back. I mean, not in the shoots forces, obviously. I mean, back when I tried to play it the first time. Thank God I hit that Musu attack right when I did. I meant Musu attack, charge attack. He did Musu attack, right. Anyway. Alright, so we defeated everybody with the exception of Liu Bei, we'll defeat him now, and then end the stage. That is if he can get off his horse. And I actually like this song every now and then. Uh, it's basically the losing theme, not the losing like you lost because the commander died theme. Basically when you added disadvantage. 
Uh, you heard it when I played the Battle of Wandu. You heard it when uh, we played the Battle of Bowan Po in the beginning when we played it under Shu's Forces. And uh, any times I think you could hear it. Oh yeah, the Battle of Jating, that was another time. And then later on when we played the Battle of Mount Ding Jun, it will occur right out of the gate. Yeah, not that time. No way. Enemy officer defeated. I cannot die here. Not before the Han is restored. And that's a win. Okay, so it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but at the end of the day, we won the stage, we won the battle nonetheless, and it took us 10 minutes and 43 seconds to do it. So, yeah. Anyway, items. I doubt we got anything good. Okay, we probably got something decent. Alright, okay, oh count. Uh, it could have been a lot better. We got 67 KOs. Or what the opponent count is 8. And we should have a good, what, 3,600 points? Maybe? 3,700. 3,752. Okay. And that should send us straight to rank 14. If we had an extra 248 points, it would have been 13. But, I'll make two. Anyway. That will send us straight to level 2. Oh, 2. Level 3. Yes, they'll send us to level 2, but level 3. Uh, and yeah, so we're set. And bodyguards? Anything? Yeah, up a level. And that's it. Alright, we'll save. And then, yeah. There you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll take on the Battle Chungban. Yeah, it's going to be a real fast one, if I recall. But anyway, peace out.